Okay. <laughs> Colonel is letting us know. Wow, it's the way of I life. I think me and Amy just walked over on the outside of the coop and we looked into Barry White's clutch of eggs and I think I saw a baby chick. I think that's going to be um, Real's little sister. Let's, let's, little let's sister. sneak in there and uh, let's just be quiet and see, see what we can find out in here. might be happening. It honestly looked like that girl. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. Oh, do you see it? Yes, see it. It's blue popped his head. Emmy. Oh, it did? Yeah, look. It's alive? Here. Yes, it's definitely alive. It's popped his little head out. Look. It's big. Oh, yeah. That was a good size little bird. <laughs> Look at these little kids. That was probably like last night. Hatch. Yes. And it's was, already dry. And I was even saying, like, does it happen at nighttime? How oh. cool. Oh. It's scared of us. <laughs> it's scared. Let's try to be quiet. It's going back under Barry White. Yeah. This chick has got scared. So it's trying to like hide its little face under Barry White again. Yeah. Oh, he's peeping out. That is he's, too cute. He's black. That looks like, uh, that's, like, that's probably hers. Yeah. It's Rio. Yep. It's a baby Rio. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's awesome because I wanted a <laughs> Osterlorp. She's like an Osterlorp Easter Egger mix. And I love it. She's got a good temperament. She lays good eggs. Big juicy blue eggs. I wonder, so I wonder how many more there's going to be. I don't know. I, they might be staggered. This could be like an all-day deal. Okay. Let me see. Let Daddy see. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's two. There's two. Yeah, I saw those. There's the other one. The other one uh, is in the back. Oh, my gosh. They're, like, completely dry. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there's a third. I see a third. It's a white one. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that cute little tan. Holy cow. Yeah, they're all different. Oh, the white and the tan are together? I'm confused. Look, see? Uh -huh. See those two on the left? Yeah. Oh my god, they're so cute. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, there's definitely still eggs under there. I see eggs. Best? Wow. Best this, is, this is the magic right now. Isn't this cool, Amy? Yeah! Okay, so we, we at least have three. Hopefully a couple of them are hens. Oh my gosh, they're like developed. Yeah, they're big. It's a lot bigger than I thought they would be. They're like, they're fluffy and everything. Yeah, they are fluffy. I thought they were gonna oh, come out. Yeah, we, we kind of like missed the, uh, the hatching. The hatching. I it mean, we saw. Last night. Well, I remember I, I saw the egg yeah. starting to crack and the, the chick was coming out. But yeah, this was an overnight deal. Wow. Okay, let's give her some privacy. Oh, the magic, the wonders of nature. This is so awesome, y'all. I was actually planning on going fishing today and now I kind of suspected this would happen. And so I'm going to stay here and facilitate uh, the rest of the hatchlings until they kind of literally get on their feet. And, uh, and then I can go, but this, that is just so awesome guys. I've never seen that before. You know, I've, I've seen it done in like the home incubators, but I've, I've never personally hatched any chicks. You know, we've always gotten chicks from the store and we've, we've never had a, a broody hen to do this with until like a month ago. And I was like, yeah, let's just try it. And the natural process is happening. So they look good so far. Uh, I'm sure some of them will not make it. Um, my worry was that I put a few of them under her in the beginning, like a day or two ahead. So, uh, you know, the, the ones that are hatched now, they'll be okay. But I'm worried as she gets off the nest, she'll forget about the other eggs and they won't come out. I don't know. I don't know. This is going to be a crazy experiment. I may have to help some of them get out of the shells. I, I don't know. It's really wild, though. Exciting times here at the treehouse, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the plan. We are going to take a 
literally just went and got these. The last minute, I didn't have any chick feed. Chicks need a higher protein feed than regular chickens, like laying hens and stuff. So I got an 18% crumble, and I got these little, little cheapo little trays that accept mason jars. So I'm gonna put water and food inside of the brood coop so that the hen, the hen's gonna eat the same feed, I hope, and uh, she'll stay in there with them. And the little box that I built, the nesting box, I'm just gonna lift it up and there's no bottom on it. So it should allow her to just stay on the clutch and the chicks won't fall out of the, um, the little nesting box that I built. Hopefully this is gonna work. Okay. Let me give you some water in here. Oh, yeah. It's really important that the chicks don't get wet because they're super susceptible to uh, hypothermia. She actually keeps the correct humidity for them and the temperature, but if they fall into water or something like that, they just cool down too quick and they die. So that's why I want a real shallow water tray so they can't dive into it. Okay, she's basically eating on the pot right now. And she's making little noises. And I think that's indicating to the chicks that that means food, I think. I think that's the chicken language. There you go. Teach them what to eat. I'm just wondering what's going on with the rest of these eggs. You know, like there's basically a 24 hour period. It started last night. So the last video that you guys saw, saw the first eggs start to hatch and from what I understand, they kind of like work a little circle around the egg. They make a, a peephole first. That's where that term comes from. And they start working it around. They kind of push their feet and bust out. What do you think about your little hatchling? This little hatchling or that little hatchling? Your little hatchling. This little hatchling is attached. I mean, I can't even, I'm yeah. like having to. He's on the nest right yeah, now. Yeah, he's on the nest. I think he wants to get back in the womb right now. <laughs> At this point, it's been a couple of hours and the air temperature's heated up and the chicks are, they're just looking fluffy and it's crazy how fast they grow. It's almost like they've gotten bigger since I saw them this morning, but they're sort of sitting at the front of mom and they're coming out a little bit, just starting to peck a little food, but I worry about the rest of the egg. So I'm gonna attempt to remove her and just see if we've got any other activity underneath. I actually saw the eggshell in the, in the sack that was attached and um, I mean, that's totally peeled off now. So I think these chicks, these ones that are up, they're actually in need of food and water now. So we may only get three, you know, but I'm gonna attempt to help along any that are in here that, uh, I can without damaging them. All right, can I just see what we got going on in here? I definitely see some eggs. still 
quite a few that just aren't developed, aren't cracking along at all. Just want to take you out just for a second. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, we got another one. We got another one. Let me see what's going on here. There's another one now. Oh. Just hatched. Just hatched. All right. Need one more in the back here, guys. So now we got four. You can see where that little chick just kind of cracked around it, made like a little semicircle, looks sawtoothed, and then pushed, and then you could see the the part of the sack there. So that's going to be another Easter egg or chicken right there. One, two, three, four, five fluffy chicks. You got any more coming out there? Barry White? You can do one more, I think. One more for us today. <laughs> They're so cute. Yeah, we got two uh, Osterlorp. We got two... Um, Looks like probably naked necks, and then we got one Easter egger that I know of so far. Look, it's babies looking at babies. It is babies looking at babies. Does it get any cuter than that? No, no. Don't touch them, buddy. <laughs> yes, you say cheep, 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 cheep. Chickens are heading to the roost. It's time to do our last chicken check of the day y'all this little squirt for whatever reason just always roosts in the most uncomfortable spots either on top of there that metal hard roof it's got to be hard on her feet or this little house that i built at a sharp angle like that cannot feel good figure it out which if i had to do this whole construction over again I would not even put a coop in here so this big thing that with the cage on it this is called a run this is where they run around the coop is where they sleep keeps them safe but this thing is so well built that predators really can't get in here so they can kind of sleep wherever they want and I just put a, a cheapo tarp on top and they love to sleep under it it's it's nice cover so it's texas we don't get very cold uh just put them a couple of little nesting boxes where they can lay some eggs and really don't need that whole thing in here which i don't know how i'll ever get it out i'll have to literally take the roof off anyway put a little irish spring in here for the for the babies hopefully it'll keep some mosquitoes out definitely works in this other coop let's take this out and see if we got any new members happening they sound pretty sleepy right now it's so hard i really don't want to take her off the nest i took her off once today and she basically has not moved she went back on position and has not moved so i don't think she'll she'll want to come off till tomorrow and it's real important that she keeps the humidity uh, exactly right so it keeps the shells moist and they can actually hatch out of there so I really don't want to take her off just to check. Hey, little babies. Hey, little babies. Oh, yeah. You can pet those little baby chicks right now. That's so cool. Hey there. But I don't want them to think that I'm I'm mom. So we're going to let the, let the real deal take place. Let mama do her thing. Well, y'all, I thought we were going to have six baby chicks. I left for a fishing trip. I've come back. 
we now have eight. And this is the cutest thing ever because they're out of the, the little nest now and they're foraging with mom. So we actually ended up with four little yellow baby chicks and then we've got four that are little Easter eggers, I think. Uh, they came out of the blue eggs. So four come out of the beige eggs, four come out of the blue eggs. How many roosters are going to be in this bunch? I don't know. I was hoping to get uh, three or four more hens, so I think we'll at least get that. We had basically four that did not make it. We had uh, one that got eaten by a snake, and then three that just got pushed aside. They didn't end up hatching, which is way better than I thought it was going to be all. I had actually put eggs under uh, on different days. Okay, you're not supposed to do that. You want to put her on the eggs at one time so they all incubate at the same um, same time. They conglomerated pretty good and most of them hatched within 24 hours or 48 hours of each other. So um, I'm happy with what we got and it is so nice. It's cool to watch but it's so nice to be able to basically hands off. I've, I've handled the chicks a little bit but for the most part let the little frizzle chicken, the, the broody who's now hen, uh, mama hen, just let her do all the work. She shows them everything. She shows them where to eat, where to drink, uh, you know, what's dangerous, scratch around, dust bath, the whole nine. I mean, this is nature's way, and it's the easiest way to raise chickens. I don't know what we were doing, doing the whole box program. So if you've already got chickens, and you have a hen that goes broody, just take the opportunity to take some fertilized eggs and put them underneath her because it is the is the easiest way to do it. You may not get all the chickens, you know, there's going to be some survival of the fittest situation, but hey, eight out of a dozen isn't bad, and you don't have to do any work. It's so easy. There's my little coop cleaner right there. Yeah, you earn your keep around here, buddy. There you go. So the most amazing part is, you know, I was worried that letting all the chicks out with the mama hen with the rest of the flock would be dangerous. Like the other chickens would come over and try to hurt the little baby chicks, but I exposed them very early. I basically left this little door open so that they could still see little Barry White's what we call her. They could still see her with the chicks and kind of know she's there. And uh, I would come in here and I would throw some scratch on the first couple days and let them uh, basically let her kind of eat uh, with the chicks and keep her pecking order. Otherwise, I would have to keep them in a separate little coop. I would still want them to, s to see each other, but keep them in an enclosure. I don't even have to do that. They just stay in the same run and they're they're good to go. The rest of the chickens are out right now. They're foraging and dust bathing and stuff like that in the in the yard. But when they come back in here, for the most part, they've gotten along very well. And the rooster, Mr. Uh, Mr. Penny, God rest his soul. Colonel Sanders does keep the order. I will say this is a really great part about having a rooster is, is they will break up fights and kind of mediate and protect. It's it's really cool. But our little mother hen, she's aggressive. So if you go up there and try to get the little chicks, she will come up and bite you. She will uh, attack uh, the other hens that have kind of gotten curious and go up. She gets, she just attacks them like full claws to the to the throat. So. She's doing her job, protecting the hens, showing them everything to do, you know. That's pretty quick. That, that lasts a few weeks. I got you for 18, buddy. We're going to be here for a minute. Okay, y'all. This is our little... This is our little chickens now. I wonder if this is a rooster or a hen. What do you think? Mm, a hen. You think it's a hen? Because I haven't heard it say cock a doo doo Yeah, they don't start doing that till about six months. Oh, it's about to get out. Yep. Okay, y'all. Well, 
we now have uh, we now have 15 chickens here at the the Rackley Roost. So stay tuned for more of the flock developments and outdoor adventures. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.